Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to the second half of March. Let's jump in and take a look into a read specifically for you as it pertains to the second half of March regarding love, all right? Uh, if you're looking for career money finance or perhaps a general monthly read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video, okay? All right, guys, let's get started and uh, let's see what's coming up for you. Uh, let's just take a look real quick and see what is going on second half of March 20. 2022 uh what's going on uh let's take a look what do we got here um the eight of swords okay oh excuse me i should say the eight of wands big difference <laughs> okay uh all right let's keep it going uh, give me one more um no one more here okay good and what do we have at the bottom of the deck okay so we have got the uh two of wands okay i just said i'm doing everything upright because i want to keep everything straight up and to the point so this is the two of wands and this that underlying energy what i love about this for you Pisces is that there's progress there's progress being made and there's a discovery of something right so it has you looking out the window visualizing what it is that you want uh you know creating that that life that you want and how you visualize and actually see that right where do you want to go you know where do you want to be in this world you know what does this really look like there's that visionary um you know kind of doing that so I feel that you know this with being the underlying energy I feel that there is like um, I don't know maybe you have put some effort into something and you're waiting for results right or perhaps you're looking to make a choice or perhaps even travel plans right so this could be the case so note your comments below guys all right uh, let's take a look at what we have here so we've got the eight of wands uh, we've got the two of Pentacles and we've got the six of cups all right now the eight of wands really talks about uh, this is about you know speed and some sort of action towards something so I feel that there is some sort of uh, action or changes now now, this could be that news is coming through, like news is on an arrival, right? So this could be the case, but when whatever that is, it's going to bring balance to the situation because eights are all about that, that infinity symbol and it's about getting balance in something. And what's so interesting is take a look at your next card. That is about flexibility and it's about adapting to this change that is taking place, okay? So I, I, I it's a really a kind of a cool energy to be in. Now, the six of cups... This is interesting because this talks about a reflection of the past. So it could be nostalgia. You could be focusing on the past. Uh, this could be, you know, really focusing on your innocence of the past and how much more mature and how much you've really grown from the past. And it could have you visualizing about that, you know, as well. Um, so that, that is one thing that's coming through here. It could also be, uh, about some sort of a reunion to get together with someone. All right. Uh, so maybe you're thinking about some sort of reunion with someone, um, you know, or a situation, uh, something of the sorts coming through here. Uh, let's take a look at anything else, uh, that might want to, uh, come through from the love oracles what do we got okay oh my gosh you guys Pisces we've got a karmic cycle someone has to learn this valuable invaluable lesson to set their soul free someone is you know ending some sort of karmic cycle okay and it's a it is about setting their soul free so what's gonna help them do that um gosh that is so interesting guys uh yeah what is gonna help within this process I'm gonna pull because I got that, that card there, I'm going to pull from my Karmic Cycle deck. How about that, right? And we're going to see what might want to uh, reveal itself through this process. So ending that, uh, now this can't, this is, some of you, this might be for you, okay? So it could have you, a lot of you could be finished some sort of Karmic Cycle. Um, let me see what other card wants to come through for that. Ah, you clearly hear me when I speak to you on the 5D level. So I think that you feel that you're in connection with someone that can really, really hear you. And it's almost like that most of your communication takes place in the 5D versus the 3D, okay, here on this physical plane. So I feel that um, you kind of know, kind of, you can kind of, I, I feel that you uh, can feel the rumblings of the other person or you really understand uh, and can really know before kind of things happen. Um, you're kind of you're kind of uh, feeling that within your energy. Uh, anything else? What do we get here? My energy is so positive when I'm around you. Wow. 
Oh my gosh. So you could be thinking of someone, Pisces, uh, and maybe it's that maybe you're feeling off balance right now and you're reminiscing about this person's energy, right? You like being around it. And so maybe you might travel to this person and it could be some sort of reunion to maybe meet this person of some sort. That could be the case. So, wow. Okay. All right. So let me put these back and take them out uh, as needed. Um, let's go ahead and take a look uh, uh, even further. Any other uh, uh, messages that want to come through from the tree deck? Balance, yeah. This is about maybe you've been off balance a little bit in in trying to adapt, uh, you know, and and be flexible, and you're looking for balance in your life a little bit more. And maybe that you know, with this relationship with the colors matching, it could be that they bring balance and harmony to you. Okay, especially when we get to like that purple color. Okay. Um, you know, that, uh, it's, it's really about like, like studies have shown that this color, you know, that purple color, um, you know, that it, it's, it, it got, actually responds to some sort of, a, a mental, um, I don't know, bring some sort of mental, uh, uh, balance uh, once again to a situation that perhaps is unbalanced. So that could be, you know, what coming through. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm feeling here. Uh, be beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, anything else that uh, may want to come through from my alternative decks here? I, I like to get, kind of get different messages to see uh, what's important in love. Uh, what do we get here? Six of wands. This is fire energy. Okay. So the sixes are about birthing something new. And when it comes to the wands here, this talks about some sort of victory, some sort of ward, uh, a ward that you have received or some sort of recognition. All, this is all good news, right? This is all about really good news and success. So you might be experiencing that within your world at this moment. If it's as it pertains to love, this is an opportunity to come together. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe two roads coming together and, uh, and, and really, uh, you know, I don't know, to reaching some sort of success here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what is, uh, um, an, an, another card in terms of what is unrevealed and see what might want to reveal itself. What do we get here? Nobody understands me like you. So it looks like you've got someone around you that truly understands you and gets you. And it's, again, it, it's so strong that almost like words don't need to be expressed. It's just like a given. And that's what I'm getting here. Guys, note your comments below and smash that like button if it resonates. So let's hop over to this other person, okay? And let's uh, see what is uh, going on for them here. Let's take a look. Uh, this other person, what do we got? Could be Leo energy. Could be dealing with someone's got Leo in their chart. Uh, and uh, we've got the uh, Strength card, the Ace of Wands, and we've got Death and Rebirth. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the uh, Emperor energy. So this is about focusing on a strategy, something that is a little bit more strategic in love. They're being a little bit more strategic in love. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, someone's got fire in their chart, especially with this card coming through. So this is about developing a solid structure in solidity. This person could be focused on their stability and their structure at this moment. Uh, and uh, then I get, you know, the strength card, uh, the ace of wands. Uh, and then uh, death and rebirth that's coming through here. Guys, uh, let's take a look. So you can kind of take a look here. So this is all about Leo energy. And this really uh, is focusing in on balancing, you know, the lion and the lamb within, especially pertaining to love. You know, she wears a necklace of uh, love. So that's what's coming through. And this is about, you know, being strong, being inspired. Uh, this is all about creativity. This is about maybe a new project, a new inspiration or the urge to create something new. So this person wants, wants to have the strength to create something new after something has maybe ended. So there could have been a situation with you both where something has ended, but guess what? Now things can, now things are clear. The skies have cleared and the clarity and the view of someone is now much clearer because something came to an end, right? So I don't know if there was a separation and there's a disconnect here, Whatever has ended between you two, uh, this is all about uh, a birthing of something new for this person. They see things clearly. Now, it could be that you're not even with someone right now, and this could be someone that you have yet to meet that might take on some of these elements as well. And feel free to reverse the sides. You might resonate with one side more than the other. I'm just going to focus you on here and the other person over here. So let's take a look. Uh, what do the soul trees have to say? They've been inspired to create some sort of project. But again, that clarity and that balance has been achieved because of something coming to an end, okay? Uh, it needed to be transformed, okay? And what do I get? 
initiative. So this person maybe is being um, guided to take the initiative in the situation or in their love life. Uh, that green is the heart chakra. And uh, if they take the initiative and matters up the heart, it can actually ground them and give them more confidence because that's the red, uh, you know, sh uh, root chakra. And that is the solar plexus chakra of the yellow. And I feel that, you know, it could bring forth, uh, and I just get ooze fire energy coming from here. It, you know, it just really uh, seems to be that, that that could be, you know, is what's coming through here. Uh, but yeah, they're just having the strength to be able to see things clearly, to take the initiative and come forward. Uh, I want to see what else might want to come through. Um, any uh, other uh, information that wants to share regarding this person's love life and where they're at? What do we got? Shadow work. This person is doing some shadow work, uh, you know, as so they can actually move forward in their love life. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. They're facing their fears, guys. Okay. They're facing their fears and uh, they're facing the shadow side and in, in incorporating that in terms of what it is, uh, you know, that they want out of their love life. So they're taking a real strong look at that shadow side and not just looking at it to know it, but looking at it to integrate it and to integrate that within themselves so they can move forward better in love. Okay. Uh, anything else uh, for my other deck here? What do we get? Just make sure. There we go. I'll pull this one here. Uh, what do we get here? Um, we've got uh, re judgment, a revelation, an awakening. The door is it's like like they're going through the door into the galaxy. Uh, you know, it's it's really like their whole new world has now opened up. You know, it's, it's really the coolest thing. So they're able to open up and, and, and have a whole new world. Because of this awakening, they see the world in a whole new way. And they that, therefore, they're seeing love in a whole new way. Okay, so they're looking at all the possibilities that are available for them. Okay, so uh, what are what, what thoughts are coming through in terms of this person regarding love at this moment? What do we got? Hmm. Will you open up your heart to me again? Ah. Will you open up your heart to me again? Oh wow! How interesting. Let's take a look at some more messages coming through, guys. Wow. Um, okay, so any further messages for Pisces? Uh, let's get more. Let's take a look. Um, this is a Seven of Pentacles. Pisces, you might be uh, really focusing on planting the seeds for something to grow. You know, you could be working on your foundation. This is Pentacle energy. It's just having faith of what you plant is going to grow. You want to see whatever you plant or work on or or give ten. You know, you you give your uh, tender love and care and energy and attention uh, to is going to grow. Yeah, and, and and then this is about moving forward with action. This is cancer energy. You know, the light and the dark side and moving, you know, really integrating that and balancing that out. Uh, and uh, and that's really key. And, and, and this is about moving forward on faith. So, wow, okay. So it, it's very interesting. So this is an opportunity for you to uh, move forward, take action, take charge on your journey. Now, you could be getting a new car, uh, you know, that could be the case. So, um, yeah, that's what's coming through here. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else before you charge forward in love, you want to make sure that something is, is, want, is able to grow. Gosh, I can't believe you got two major cons. We've got justice, Libra energy. So that is all about, uh, you know, finding equilibrium in the situation. You might even have a Libra in your chart. Okay. Uh, but this is all about, uh, you know, finding um, cause and effect. This is about finding win-win situation with you and another person. Uh, it also can indicate that the truth is coming out. All right. So the truth of justice is coming out. So this could be something that, that wants to come through. All right. Um, interesting, guys. Let's take a look at uh, any other advice that uh, in terms of your love life. I think you want balance in your love life, but you want to make sure that it's something that can grow uh, before you take action. And you know what I mean? <laughs> Divine intervention. The universe will intervene to ensure it follows the divine path. Wow. Oh my gosh. And maybe this, you know, especially getting like, you know, some um, twin information here. That's what I feel that's coming through. And I don't say that lightly, but when it comes up in the cards, then I follow it. You know, then I, then I see that I know that it's coming from that, you know, but it's like the universe is going to make sure that this situation gets balanced. Okay. Anything else, uh, for Pisces, uh, important information regarding their love life. Just no divine intervention is at hand. What do we get? Insecurity. 
Okay, so lack of confidence and self-doubt is delaying action in this relationship or situation. Now, it's coming out on your side, okay? So it could be that uh, that is something to really look into in terms of the situation, all right? So uh, give me a card on this uh, insecurity and tell me a little bit more about this. What do we get? In the past, you felt scared and bullied, but now, now you're able to stand up for yourself and create safe boundaries, so this is a reminder to let you know that you're able to stand up now. You're able to stand up stronger uh, than before, all right? And you're able to create uh, the safe boundaries that are necessary in a relationship or situation. So you won't be knocked off balance of any sort, right? Uh, you know, this is saying, no, you, you've got that knowledge. You can actually do this, okay? Um, any information that, uh, that would help out uh, in, in, in terms of uh, messages uh, that want to come out for you on your side? What do we get? Vulnerability is my weakness. This card came out three times. I think it came out in the Scorpio read. I think it came out in the Gemini read. Okay. Uh, and maybe the Aquarius as well. Um, but that is what is coming through. Uh, do check out your moon rising and Venus signs, guys. That can help. So maybe that vulnerability is a little bit difficult for you in terms of doing this, right? So what is, um, you know, what, what, what can help you within this process, okay? Uh, what can help you within this situation knowing that that's the issue? What can help uh, kind of heal the hurt uh, or heal the kind of uh, process of being a little bit more vulnerable in the situation? What do you need to keep in mind? Listen, reflect, feel, and don't expect. Lots of good messages for you on your side, guys. Lots of good messages. This is how to really, um, really heal the situation, uh, you know, in this process. And 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 because I feel that there could be, uh, the, the, I don't know, I feel that there, there could be some mirroring uh, of fears, of thoughts and emotions between you and this other person. Let's take a look at this other one and see this other person over here and any further messages that we got. What do we got? This person could be in the spotlight, okay? So we get the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands talks about victory, success, uh, confidence, growth, right? Wreath of success. Could be that they're in the spotlight. Uh, fire energy is coming through here. But Six is about birthing uh, something new towards your passions. Uh, it could be someone's in the spotlight relating to their security and how they make a living, okay? Uh, but uh, and, and they're, they're focused on their stability and security right now. Okay, and then I get the King of Wands, which is a visionary entrepreneur. Yeah, it could be that this person might have their own business. Okay, so it could be the case. So uh, again, might have Leo in their chart or some sort of fire energy. Okay, um, but this is about and, and if this person, if, if that's not it, then in this this is another way of looking at this is that this person wants. This is about you know uh, achieving some sort of success. Um, you know that is is helping them right. Uh, after a death and rebirth, and now they're focused on their stability, and they're focused on um, they want to they they want to have the courage and vision to move forward. Okay, they want to see this move forward. Okay, uh, anything else for this person? Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, rather than hastily moving too fast, they want to really slow down and focus on their stability and their security, and maybe do this in, in a, a different way. Uh, you know, in order to achieve success and victory in this process. Uh, but this moving towards their passions, the Knight of Swords is, is motion forward. Uh, it is a little bit hasty in terms of the motion. So that is being something, it's something to be aware of. Um, but uh, that's what I see kind of happening and coming through. Uh, anything else? This person is asked to trust. So trust is a big part of that. So this is about building trust and, uh, um, you know, through this as well. Trust the process. Trust the process, perhaps, of this divine timing in this situation. Uh, anything else uh, that might want to come through here? Let's take a look. Uh, in terms of the situation for this other person, denial. Someone is not ready to acknowledge the truth. So this person, it, it's about uh, acknowledging the truth. I do get denial. And it could be this person could be holding back in terms of their feelings. What is the, uh, give me more on the denial part of it. What's coming through? What do we get? <laughs> you guys.
guys, this is such a trip. Okay, look at, they get divine timing. And guess what you got on your side? It's like divine intervention. Like the, the, insure, the, the universe is gonna ensure that this follows through in the appropriate way. And this is saying this connection is divinely guided and supported. There is, you know, it's, this is just, this is divinely orchestrated through this process, okay? Um, and, and it's truly what, what wants to come through here, all right? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Well, there's there's two cards that really kind of talk about that. It's on its divine path, the way it should be. Uh, any Anything else that wants to come through for this person? The world card. Achievement, fulfillment. It's like the world is in their hands and they want to create the world that they want. And it includes love for them. There's no doubt about it. It includes love, okay? So, wow. Now, you could be at a distance from each other. Uh, this is about completing a lesson. This person could have completed some sort of lesson or some sort of goal, uh, but it's some sort of completion. And I think that they have been able to overcome something. So, you know, that's what's going to help them uh, in particular uh, in this situation. What's going to help them uh, regarding your connection with each other? What do we got? What do we got? The advice is here that's coming through is that they're looking at someone such as you who is not them. And that means that you both have different coping communication skills and upbringing. And that's to be, and that is going to be important for you both in terms of, there's a communication block here, guys, is what I feel. There's a communication block, uh, quite frankly. All right. So it is divinely guided. Um, what I'm going to do is tap into um, the, you know, a little bit more deeper into the extended. And then we'll find out uh, a little bit what the timing aspect of this is. We'll ask the universe in terms of what the timing is and get some sort of idea. Uh, I'm sure it'll say divine timing, but you never know. Um, but that's what I see happening. Uh, and then what it is that they want most and uh, what it is that... Uh, uh, you know, they haven't told you, same for you on your side, you know, messages from both sides, uh, potential outcome as well as Oracle advice. So we're going to go a little bit deeper into this guys and find out, well, when is this divine timing? What does that look like? So I'll pull some cards in my timing cards as well. Okay. All right, guys, if you want to join me, click the link below, uh, smash that like button. If this does resonate with you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.